Jesse, here's yours. Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> I am talking to myself. Hey you guys! Okay, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I kind of wanted it to be a very casually filmed video and ultimately I wanted this to be all about smoothies and all about how eating healthy and incorporating good foods into our daily life and our daily diet can be really simple, affordable, and quick and easy. I think so often people hear the word smoothie or healthy eating and they quickly are like, ah, no, like expensive, time consuming, I'm just not bothered enough to like put the time in. You guys, it doesn't take more than five minutes to throw together a smoothie in the morning and it's such a great way to get a lot of different nutrients into your body and I find them really refreshing in the summertime because it's hot out and I don't know about you guys but I just find that I find myself leaning towards more fruits and vegetables and cold, cold drinks anyway and so why not combine it all and make something really good and nutritious for our body. But I didn't really want to sit down and like film each individual smoothie as a different video and like kind of give you each recipe. I really just wanted to do this kind of vlog style and take you along with me over the next five days and every single day we're going to make a new smoothie. Some will be smoothies that maybe I've been making for quite a while. Others we literally might make up on the spot because ultimately I want to show you guys how easy and just fun it can be to throw together foods and make a smoothie and be having that like healthy boost every single day. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy this kind of video or it's just a bit more vlog style, a little bit more casual, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that I know. I'd love to do more of these in the future, but this one is going to be smoothie themed. So I hope you enjoy making some smoothies with me. Hey folks, it's Saturday. It's actually like 11.45 and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So as you can see, we've got our strawberries here. Oops, just broke that. We got blueberries. I like to put almond milk in this smoothie. I just use the unsweetened original one. And then we've got banana, which I've already prepared. And then we got spinach. <laughs> I literally grab the biggest handful I can and stuff in there and probably put a bit more in. Okay, we are gonna blend it. Here we go. Moment of truth, the smoothie is blended and ready to go. That honestly took me like five minutes and it took a little longer because I was like filming and stuff but if you're not obviously doing that literally takes five minutes to put this together so no excuses people okay, let's give this a try that is really good and I can't even taste the spinach I probably could have put a lot more spinach in but I really like that because it's like I'm getting my greens in but they're disguised because it's purple Thanks for joining me this morning, well technically this afternoon, making my smoothie of the day. We'll just call this one the Berry Blast or something. That's like such a cliche name for a smoothie. It works. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy this and get on with the rest of my day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I need chocolate. This right here is the theme of today's smoothie. Chocolate. banana. I had some strawberries that are kind of starting to go bad and so I wanted to throw them in. We're going to use coconut milk instead of almond milk because it's just going to make it a lot richer and then we're going to put cocoa and spinach. So this is going to be kind of more of like a dessert style smoothie. So I just finished making this smoothie. Um, guys, it looks like poop. <laughs> okay, that's actually not bad. Got more of like a sweet flavor. The coconut milk makes it a lot thicker. So if you like a thicker consistency to your smoothie, then maybe try giving that a try over the almond milk or water. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Chocolate flavor, flavor isn't like too overpowering, but I think it's kind of just what I needed. It's Monday. I went for a run this morning and worked out and stuff, and so I'm kind of feeling like I need something really refreshing and really cold and something that's gonna get some water and hydration in my body to kind of give me a good 
kickstart for the day. So this is a smoothie I actually just like completely made up the other day and it worked really well. So I'm hoping that second time around it goes just as smoothly because it was really good. This is perfect if you just want something that's a little bit more refreshing and hydrating and I'll just kind of cool you down on a hot summer morning. So let's go to the kitchen and make this smoothie. Moment of truth. You gonna try it? Yes. Go ahead. What do you think? Mmm, yum. Yeah? Kind of comes out like slushy like, which I love. So let's try it. Seriously, so good. It's like a refreshing slushy. This one is 10 out of 10. Cheers. I can do Today's smoothie, we're going with more of a tropical theme. So we're gonna put spinach, Hello. frozen banana, frozen mango, and frozen pineapple. And then we're just gonna put almond milk as our liquid. And we'll see how this turns out. This is the most experimented smoothie that we're going to try making. Big handful. Yeah. Wow, that's quite the handful there. Our almond milk and dump that in. mango, spinach, almond milk, and then we had to add a bunch of more almond milk and water because it wasn't exactly blending. And then we just loaded the rest up with the spinach. So, oh, and there was a little bit of banana in this. So it came out a little green. We're gonna try it and see what it tastes like. Holy crap. That is really good. Wow. That is so refreshing. And we put so much spinach in that and you like can hardly even taste it. That is really good. This is like the perfect like summer like tropical smoothie. Oh my gosh, this is really yummy. So it is a Wednesday and you guys, for the first day in like two weeks, it's not boiling hot out and I have a sweater on and I'm just feeling cozy and honestly, I just wanna drink like hot chocolate. But I'm gonna be good and go make my smoothie today. I really have no idea what I'm gonna make because I've kind of made all the smoothies that like I would normally put together. I don't know, I'm thinking we might incorporate peanut butter today. I'm feeling something just really like simple and basic today. So I think we're just going to go with a regular peanut butter and banana smoothie. So we're going to put almond milk. I have this, um, oh, that's the French side. I've got a nut and seed butter. I've actually haven't tried this yet. So I think that'll be really good. And then we have banana and I just have one piece of a frozen banana here that I'm just going to use up. Um, so yeah, this one's just kind of a simple breakfast smoothie. So I'm kind of nervous to try this because I'm not normally a peanut butter fan. Um, it didn't make very much, but that's okay because I'm not actually super hungry. But if you did want to add more, you just add more banana, more milk, and more peanut butter. Um, yeah, it's a little bit thicker. Peanut butter makes smoothies really thick and I don't normally love that. But I thought why not try it because I was just kind of feeling something really basic this morning. So we'll give it a try and see how it turns out. So this actually turned out really well and that was really yummy. It's quite thick but it's really good and I think that nut and seed butter really added different flavors to it. This one was really good and I'm really happy with it. Alrighty, so that is the end of this video. I kind of didn't realize that it was over yesterday when I made the smoothie. I just kind of made it and was like, whatever. But yeah, that was the last day of just making some smoothies with me for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you kind of like doing it like vlog style, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. really enjoyed just kind of like getting back in the kitchen and experimenting with smoothies. I found it really fun. Hopefully you guys maybe got some inspiration or ideas or it just kind of like inspired you to go experiment with healthy foods. And kind of like I mentioned, there's just so many things you can add to smoothies. Um, and I'll definitely continue to share with you guys new smoothie recipes that I make up that I enjoy or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me this week and I'll see you in my next video.